Hello everyone, good evening and welcome to the session. So I just made a small control uh, not to um, unmute yourself. Uh, so, but don't worry, as in when we move on uh, in the future classes, you'll be able to unmute yourself and you'll be able to speak, not a problem at all. So this session, so we'll be like, you'll be on mute and as in when we start the QA session, you can unmute yourself and we can do, I can work on it. All right, so today, is the first class of the course Office 365 Administration and Troubleshooting. So let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Sheikh Dawood. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and I got uh, close to 14 years of experience working on the administration and uh, yeah, I'm certified too. So this course is all about talking about uh, the complete cloud technology, which is the software as a service. We'll be talking about the uh, Azure Active Directory, Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and then uh, we will be able to talk about uh, the security compliance and we will be able to uh, talk about the teams online. So this is the, so team, you will not be able to record the session. Recording, I will be, I'm already doing it and uh, it will be shared with you all. Don't worry, you don't have to record it. Okay, fine. So let's get started. So Office 365 is a software as a service. So in which like we don't have to deploy, we don't have to have a bunch of servers available. All we need is like we can simply have, uh, you know, we'll be able to have the bunch of sub the bunch of software which we can directly use it. That is called as the software as a service. One minute, why am I mouse clicks are not working? Is everyone able to try recording? Let's check. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, there were some issues with uh, with the presentation, so I, I just stopped it and I started. Okay, so I was saying about uh, my experience. So in this Office 365, as I told you that many organizations do not want to manage their data centers. So that's where they are all going for the Office 365. So the idea is all about that we don't want to manage our data centers and we should be able to take the application which are already predefined from the from the Microsoft. That is the software as a service all about. So why Office 365? Because Office 365 has got the applications which are like very vital, which are like very important for an organization to, to work upon. So that's why many organizations are going for Office 365. And we also, as we all know that Microsoft is a very, very trusted and a very, very prominent, uh, uh, you know, uh, organization. So that's why many, many people trust Microsoft and they go with the Microsoft cloud. That is the logic over here. So now let's get started. So what is that we are going to do in this? Okay. Uh, probably I'll just uh, ask for any, in case if you have any questions, please put it up, put it across quickly. Let me answer the questions and we can get started with our class. Any questions? 
put it on the chat. So what are the technical skills required? So added advantage is that if you know, if you know what is the concept of on premises, if you know what is the concept of on premises, it will be very easy for you to learn like what is a cloud. So if you all, if you know what is the problem with the legacy technology, then learning the new technology will be, will be very, very easy for you to understand. Okay. That is the, that is what I would say as a technical skill that you really need it. And uh, you don't need any, any experience. If you know what is the on-premises and what are all the challenges that we, that we face on the on-premises, then yes, it will be helpful for you to learn. Okay, so how much experience you need? Yeah, you don't need any great experience, but a simple knowledge you'll be able to do it. So as I already tell you, who all who who all who can do this course? Anyone who is looking to move into the cloud platform, anyone's organization who has all which has already moved on to the cloud and you are expected to manage it, you have to you you can use this course for your knowledges. Okay. So that is the answer for the SSE admin who has joined. So Agbar, don't worry. I will tell you like how you can register a domain for the lab, which I will tell you. So prerequisite and technical skills, Javid, I already told that to you. So, so Vani, you have to, you have to understand like, what are the services your organization is having? Is your organization off, on Office 365? How do you find whether your organization is on Office 365? Is that when you log in, when you log into your Outlook, do you go to outlook.com and then you log in? If yes, yes, your office, your organization is on office 365 so like that you'll be able to understand whether your organization is is working on office 365 so that is the idea okay good fine so i think we are done with the questions we are good so from a non it uh, field it is okay to move on to office 365 but you have to work a lot you have to put a lot of more effort than others what they are putting so if you are able to add up effort then you'll be able to do it so yes you'll be able to get the recording rakesh everyone you will get the recordings and uh, you'll be able to access the recording and there is no download access on the recording there is no download access on the recording you'll be able to view it online lifetime so all right cool so we have not started yet rosemary you yeah we are we are yet to start it we are not yet started all right, so let's get started. So what is that we need to do is like, we need to get started and we have to create something called as a tenant. So what is that we are going to do is like, we are going to create something called as a tenant. I'll tell you what, do you, what is the meaning of a tenant over here. So Microsoft has got a huge data center set up. Okay, Microsoft Akbar, so team, no more questions, concentrate on the topic. So Microsoft has got a huge data center set up. Okay, which is like, a, like in a real life, how there is an apartment and what that apartment does is like they invite, they invite the tenants for a, on a rental basis, right? The same thing over here. Microsoft has got a huge, huge data center set up over here in which, in which they are inviting the tenants to host their services over here. So Microsoft data center has got multiple services available like Azure Active Directory, like Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, Teams Online, Security and the Compliance. So these are the services that Microsoft is having it readily. They are inviting the tenants to come up and make use of this services. That is what they are inviting. So when as an organization, as an organization, what we do is like we have to host our services over here. In this case, we are going to become a tenant. So for example, let's say that your organization name. Okay, let's say that your organization name is something like joyatress.com so this organization is going to be hosted on the on to the cloud that is what we are going to do it 
So for that, what is it we need to do is like we need to subscribe for it. We need to purchase. We need to we need to purchase a subscription from Microsoft. So everyone can follow the steps over here. So I just go to incognito mode, and then what is it you can do is that search for search for something called as Office three sixty five. E three license, E three trial. You go for Office three sixty five, E three trial. Then I want you to open the page, which is this. I just put this link onto the chat window in case uh, if if anyone is uh, trying. So, if you want to understand what are all the different licenses that are available. Okay, if you want to know. Like, what are all the different licenses available, and how Microsoft has. Uh, like how Microsoft has has categorized it. What is that you can do is like you can click on this place called as the full comparison PDF. If you go over here, the full comparison PDF, you'll be able to get the. So when you open this full comparison PDF, you'll be able to see the idea of all the licenses that are available okay in which you'll be able to understand like how much of services provided how much of services provided for e3 e5 e5 security compliance e1 e3 so like that you'll be able to get more idea on the offerings more idea on the offerings from the Microsoft. Okay, that way you'll be able to get it. So I don't buy heart it, but yes, when I look into this, we will be able to understand what is the offering provided by because like Microsoft, they tend to change it. So if if there is a question saying like if you go for uh, E5, how many on how many devices on how many devices you will be able to install Office? The answer is fifteen devices. As you could see over here, you will be able to install on on five PCs. Okay, that includes it could be a Windows PC or it could be a Mac, and you'll be able to install it on five tabs, and you'll be able to install it on five mobile phones. So total of a fifteen devices, you will be able to install the Office three sixty five. So how much of uh, space you get it for your mailbox? If you go with the E one, you get a fifty GB of mailbox plus a fifty GB of archive. If you go with E three, you get a hundred GB of mailbox plus a plus a another hundred GB of archive space. So that is the idea over here. So like this, this comparison will help in terms of understanding the different bunch of licenses that are available on the Office 365. And it is very important to understand the changes because like over time, Microsoft keeps on changing. You'll be able to understand the, you'll be able to understand the changes. Okay. That is very, very important over here. Okay. So is, is everyone able to, is everyone able to download this one? So this Office 365 and Microsoft 365, what is the idea over here is that so microsoft is slowly you know they are getting the they are getting the more corporate or the or the organization related ones they are they are trying to make it into a microsoft 365 so slowly office 365 name will be gone and it will be only microsoft 365 so that is that is the one so as of now both are almost the same. I wouldn't say there are much of difference over here. Okay, so is everyone able to reach to this particular page? Okay, how many of you are able to see an option called as? So Aditya, you can refer to the to this PDF that I mentioned. You will be able to see that whether it has archive or not. 
So if you are unable to get the option called as free trial, change it from in, en hyphen in, change it to en hyphen us. Anyone seeing that free trial available? Anyone seeing that there is a free trial available? So, what is very important is that Microsoft has has removed the option of free trial. Okay, so what is Microsoft is saying is like Microsoft now requires a credit card for Microsoft now requires a credit card for having a trial version also. So that is the idea. So that is what Microsoft is trying to do it over here. Okay, so anyone seeing free trial? Anyone from from outside India is, is able to see the free trial option over here. Hmm, okay. So one person who's connected from Ireland is able to see free trial. Anyone else? Anyone else is able to see the free trial option? Okay, let me send the link. Try this link and tell me if you're able to see the Okay. Yeah, that's right, Deepak. So now even if it is a free trial, we need a, we need to enroll with a credit card. That is that is a requirement. Okay, so but why Microsoft has removed that option of a free trial itself? Option says con C. Are you able to see my screen? Okay, so fine. So I'll tell you like how you will be able to create a trial version. So as of now, I'm going to show you the portal page so that you'll be able to get an idea. I'll, I'll tell you like how you can create a tenant. So let me bring this up. And also I will take notes as well. So many web websites, I mean, say like the web links are very, very important for you to remember. So remember these links portal.office.com. So when you log into this portal dot office, so how many of you in your organization? Okay. So which one is this? So Srikant, let me try that.
Try. Just minute, don't worry. You will be able to get your. You'll be able to get the recording. Not a problem. So hold on. I'm just uh, finding like how we can get this one sorted. I'm on the wrong link. Okay, got it. Okay, so try this link. Great. Try this link. Everyone, please try this link, which I'm going to send it. Try this link and tell me whether you see a window like this. Are you not able to open the link? Others, do let me know when you're able to open the link. Okay, Sandeep, check why you're not able to open the link. Okay, so open the link and over here, type in your email ID. So this, this can be a Gmail ID also, not a problem. So, Type in your type in your Gmail ID over here and then say next. Okay. So let me just put in my ID one minute. <clears throat> okay, so once you get this one when you so like after you have put in your id then click on setup account so click on setup account and then your first name surname company name you can you can just put in your business phone number so phone number put in add in your number and then company name you can add anything and uh, say the company size you can just add up something called as say like two or like two to four or anything you can add it not a problem The business phone number you can add in the business phone number something and then company you can add up like this country say india say 
something this this is fine and then i say next so here you'll be able to get the verification code and then say that uh, something a random number i'm just having it over here So here you will be getting a verification code and verify it. Yes, you can select your location. You can select India. Anyone is able to sign up. So after you complete this number, Are you on this page? How many of you are on this page? How many of you are on this page? Okay. Okay, here what is very important is like at this place, whatever you are creating, okay, the, at this particular place, whatever this asking for domain name, it is something, it has to be a unique one, okay, it has to be a unique ID because like your ID has to be unique in the world, which through which you're able to get the, through which you'll be able to get the ID, okay, that is the logic over here. So in case if you go for something which is which is already there, then system will not accept it. So for example, say like batch 10 online something, click on save. Okay, so it will tell you whether it is available or not. Okay, I'll send you the link uh, Ashish. So the employee count can be anything, nothing strict about it. You can, you can have anything.
So Ayub, Ayub Khan, are you on this page? Okay, then what we are doing over here is like, we are trying to create a unique ID. Okay, we are trying to create a unique ID over here is what we are doing. Okay, so the logic over here is that this ID that you type in over here has to be unique in the world. No one should be already having a ID that you type in over here. That is the logic. That is what we are trying because like we are creating because we are creating an account on the on the Microsoft data center. So your account should be a should be a unique one. Okay. So what is the message that you're getting? Getting message that account available, not available for your account. What is not available for your account? Let me check. Three sixty five E three is not available for your account. Anyone getting that message? No, oh, the country shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so in case if you're getting a message saying that it is currently unavailable, so what is it you can do is like you can start. Okay, start your uh, browser on an incognito mode. Start your browser on an incognito mode and then you open the same link and try um, E3, is it? E3 is not working currently. Mm, E5 is also not working, right? Wait, let, let me try like how we can make it to work. Which link was that? try changing the country but i don't think that because like if you change the country then your country code might have a problem but try it but i'm trying it from the india location it is working smoothly so try it in the same way Okay, fine. If the issue is fine, that's okay. So we can, so we can definitely try it later. Not a problem. So, so you can watch my screen that I'm doing over here. So what is that we see over here is that we are creating an account over here. We are creating a tenant over here. What is the meaning of a tenant? As I told you that on the data center, on the huge data center that Microsoft is having, we are going to add up as a, as a tenant. Okay. That is the logic over here. So as I told you, like this 
name has to be unique what organizations do is like here they provide their own name for example if i type in joytrus it is going to check it is going to check if joytrus is taken so yes it says like it is already taken okay and how many of you have got a chance to install how many of you got a chance to install a windows server a windows server operating system how many of you got a chance to install and my question is like when you are installing what is the very first account that gets created what is the name of the very first account that that gets created okay administrator agreed but tell me will you be able to rename the administrator during installation okay during the time of installation you will not be able to rename the account okay so shikan no global administrator is on the cloud not on the on premise i'm talking about on premises so what i'm trying to tell you is that here the very first account the very first account that you are creating over here is your choice you don't have to make it you don't have to make it as you don't have to make it as the administrator you will be able to create it in a name that you like it that is the idea over here that is the logic so here the name is provided and as i told you that you have to provide a unique name for creating up your tenant and as we do on the on premises installing a windows server say like it is you have to provide a username and the password same way here also i'm going i'm just so this is a username which is username at the rate over here now you should understand that the username is going to be something like batch11 online dot on microsoft.com why because we are hosting because we are hosting our we are hosting our services inside the microsoft data center that is why it is having this id called as a dot on microsoft.com is what it is having over here that is the reason for it okay so password probably i can just put up some password over here everyone after the class try to do the try to repeat the steps and create a tenant which is very important okay one thing i wanted to show on the right side over here i just clicked on next before that okay as you could see over here wait it's same thing for me also good so microsoft has already restricted for e5 that's a known one but they stopped e3 also okay so many things are happening what i wanted to show you is this one okay see here so when you go with <coughs> excuse me when you go with e3 you get a unlimited personal cloud storage because you get a unlimited archive okay you get a unlimited archive okay which i'll tell you how so you get a mailbox of 100 gb of size okay you get a mailbox of 100 gb of size plus 100 gb of archive storage and as it as i told you that you will be able to install your office on 15 devices okay you'll be able to install it on 15 devices that is what it is saying you can do it on a online and a offline copy you will be able to do it that's the idea anyone has any idea about this fast track what do you mean by fast track deployment anyone has heard of fast track okay so someone has joined as uh, one plus i'll tell you what is the meaning of archive the meaning of archive is that once your 100 gb is has got filled up okay once your 100 gb has filled up you will be able to move 
some bunch of uh, emails from the primary mailbox to a different place to a different location that is called as a that is called as a archive archive is like a pst yes so pstes are something like a local storage it will be stored on to it will be stored on to your uh, c drive or somewhere but this will be a cloud storage only that is the idea that is called as the uh, archive so same which is something like your loft at home you have your loft right so loft is something like something which you don't use it regularly we put it on you put it on to the you put it on to the loft space right same way so here uh, like the mails that you don't use it very regularly that you keep it inside the archive that is the logic over here okay so any idea about any idea about uh, the any idea about the what is it i asked fast track deployment anyone No. So what is the meaning of a fast track is that something like, let's say that you are the only administrator in your organization. Okay. And you don't have any, any, any other administrators in your, in your organization. So you need additional help. Okay. You need additional help. So what do you do is like you request an engineer you request an engineer from the Microsoft. If you have purchased more than 150 licenses, as you, as you, as it does, as it is mentioned over here, if you have purchased more than 150 licenses for your organization, you are eligible to ask for a, you are eligible to ask for a help or say like a guidance from Microsoft. Okay, that is the idea over here. So that what will happen is like a Microsoft expert will work with you on the migration. They will guide you a step-by-step -step saying like what needs to be done first, what needs to be done next. So like that, they will provide a, they will provide a perfect guidance on, they'll provide a perfect guidance on what step you need to do it first like that. So that is called as a fast track deployment. So what is a prerequisite is that your organization should have purchased one a minimum of 150 licenses okay minimum of 150 licenses is required for enabling the for enabling the uh, say like the fast track deployment that is the idea over here and the fast track deployment let i'm going to repeat one so fast track deployment is that get a expert from microsoft for your migration requirement okay so you will be able to get a help from a microsoft expert who's going to work with you on the on the migration that's a requirement i mean like that's the idea of a fast track so as you could see that you get 25 users on your trial for a for a time period of one month that is the idea over here so you get a time you, you get a trial of one month, 30 days of time, and you get a 25 licenses. Okay, and that is the logic. Okay, so once, yes, so Rakesh, to answer your question, earlier, Microsoft was not charging. Okay, earlier, Microsoft was not, was not charging. Now, what is it they're doing is like, you need to add the credit card. Okay, what Microsoft did was like, you need to add up the credit card number for enabling the trial. Okay, so after 30 days, after 30 days, you will be charged. Okay, after 30 days, you will be charged, but till then, no, you will not be charged. That is the idea over here. Okay, is the. So yeah, there are different set of licenses that are available. So yes, as, as I just showed you on to that, uh, 
as i showed to you on the on the pdf there are different licenses available and you'll be able to you'll be able to see the you'll be able to see the uh, subscriptions as well that is the logic so after you after you complete this process so after you complete this process how it will look like is that it will be looking like this you will be on to this portal page okay you will be on the page called as the portal.office.com okay that is the idea over here and from this page uh, no sanjeev we can't we can't use trial without a credit card because that is a new thing currently now microsoft is saying that you need to add up a credit card for going with the trial version that is that is a new one okay yes so you like yes there are a lot of mcds who are discussing about that saying like how we can enable it so yeah the discussion is still on so you can go with microsoft365.com or no go with portal.office.com ali husain so it is so go to the page called as portal.office.com right so now what is the logic is that if you go to this portal.office.com you will be able to see a page like this and from there if you click on something called as the admin icon over here okay here if you see something called as admin icon you will be able to get the admin page in which you will be able to land on to a page like this that is the logic over here okay so what is this page is having is that this page is the landing page for the administrators so you can say that this is the landing page for the administrators over here where you will be able to where you will be able to manage the users the groups you will be able to manage the domains you will be able to manage the roles everything is possible from this landing page so from this landing page from this admin portal page you will be able to browse to the azure active directory page you'll be able to browse to the exchange and you'll be able to browse to the to the sharepoint online like multiple pages you'll be able to browse through from this particular landing page that is the idea and the link of this landing page is called as the admin.microsoft.com admin.microsoft.com is the page for this one is the link for so what is very important is like you should okay you should be you should remove you should remember the links over here also okay which is very very important remembering the link is also very important so that like you'll be able to land on to it directly that is very important so remember this these links okay so i'm going to just go through it so that like you can understand what is available and once you enroll it we all will be part of uh we all will be part of uh, one whatsapp group and i'll be able to guide you through saying like how you can create an account and you how and how you'll be able to get this uh, trial access so let me run through this portal page and on the portal page we have something called as the active users what is the meaning of this active users is like as we as we saw like there are 25 licenses available right so those 25 users you will be able to create it at this particular place so that is the idea over here so you can create a user there are different ways of creating user which i will tell you and also i will tell you like how you can create users uh, how you will be able to create a users through the powershell as well that i will explain that to you okay so then we have something called as a guest users so guest users you will be able to create it uh, through the azure active directory and then we have the deleted user so once a user is leaving the organization we will be able to delete it and uh, that deleted users will be available for a 30 days of time after that that deleted users will be permanently deleted that's the idea over here we have the teams and the groups so groups are nothing but
groups are nothing but a collection of users over here. So, so if you want to create a groups, you will have to have a bunch of users added onto the groups over here. Okay. And say like the roles, role based access control, you get it over here. That is the logic and say like billing. So someone asked a question saying like, how do I remove it? How do I remove my account from the, from the enrollment? You, you'll be able to do it right from here. Under the bills and payments, your credit card information will be right over here and you will be able to remove it. You'll be able to remove it from there. So that is the logic. Okay, so you'll be able to you'll be able to you know remove the credit card information. Okay, that's the logic. Okay, so other than that, settings over here. So I think Akbar, you were asking question about like, do you need to purchase a domain? Yes, we need to purchase a domain, which I'll guide you like how we can do it. As you could see over here. Anyone, anyone completed this setup? Anyone is able to, anyone is able to complete the setup and, and on this page, drop a message. Okay. So tell me, I think Anku, you said like, uh, no, not Anku. Someone has logged in as real me has mentioned that you're able to do it. Right. So the very first user, okay. The very first user whom you created, okay. The very first user that you created will be in an ID called as this, where is it? I show that to you, MOD administrator. So do you, do you see a, do you see an ID something like this, which will be named as probably in my case, it will be named as at the rate, uh, say like, uh, H 11 online dot on Microsoft.com. Do you get that? So this ID that gets created. Okay. This ID that gets created is created in a way that it is in this manner. Okay. So as I told you that what is very important, what is very important is that this data center, this Microsoft data center ID is also added over here. Okay. The data center ID is also added over here. If you say that we can't have our IDs like this, we, you say like, Hey, we can't have our IDs like this. We need to have our own IDs, something like this. We don't want to have, we would like to have only like this because you can't tell to your client. Okay. You can't tell to your client that my ID is on microsoft.com. We can't say that. So we have to preserve our identity. Okay. That also we will be doing it. No need to. So for that, I'm going to ask you to purchase a domain. Anyone is having a domain currently? Anyone owns a domain? Okay. So if you are owning a domain, which is well and good. If not, yeah, you can create it from GoDaddy or else there is one more very cheap uh, ho uh, hosting website called as the hostinger.com. Hostinger.in. I'm from India. So I, you can say that hostinger.in. Okay, so here, if you go to this domain, you can purchase a domain, which is for cheap. You can purchase it for 
say what is the right usage you purchase something called as dot online you purchase something which is dot online you will be able to get it for a very very cheap price is to say like i purchase i i'm going to search something like batch 11 uh, 0365 dot online so search for dot online websites you'll be able to get it for okay it is taken so let me search for batch 11 batch 11 dot online is available as i told you like which is available for a for a price of 75 uh, rupees per year which is which, which is only for the first year okay so which is close to 1 dollar so if you purchase it you will be able to get it for around 106 rupees something you will be able to get it okay so you can you can purchase it and which is which is which is a very very simple way and please purchase it only for one year don't go more than that for one year you'll be able to purchase it and then we will be able to use that and we'll be able to use it for our testing so what is the goal is that all our identities that we see over here, all the users that we see over here with this id m365 something something will change okay we'll change to the domain that we purchase that is what we are going to learn it as in when we move forward so as in when we move on we are going to change that we are going to uh, get it we are going to preserve our own identity okay we are going to preserve our own identity is what we are going to do it that is the logic that's what we are going to that is the idea okay so what is the task for you is that the task for you is that go to hostinger dot in hostinger dot in or go to hostinger dot com and I want you to purchase a domain with extension saying dot online and for purchase it for one year. Keep it as much cheap as possible. Keep it as much as much uh, simple as possible. Okay, so this is only for a testing purpose. so keep that domain purchased and keep it ready okay so vani don't worry i will also help you with the exchange server installation also if required as in when we move on i'll tell you how you can install the exchange server i'll tell that to you don't worry okay so other than that so ali husain i'm not saying that is compulsory if you are if you want to shed some more money go for dot com it's totally fine i'm not denying it but dot online are very cheap so that's why i am suggesting to go with dot online that's the reason for it so you can purchase anything dot in dot com dot online anything anything is fine whichever you are comfortable with but dot online is they are they are very cheaper that's that's the reason i'm asking you to go for it okay cool so just wait. okay i'd like to stop right over here because this is just a kind of a demo plus the first class so please get in touch with amit and enroll yourself and enroll yourself and uh, you will be able to uh, be a part of a whatsapp group and we will be able to uh, you know go with it so the next class next class it will be only for it will be only for the uh enroll person so please enroll yourself contact amit and enroll yourself and we'll be able we'll be a part of uh we'll be able to part of uh, a whatsapp group and we should be able to get the details okay so course details the training course details amit will explain that to you so please get in touch with him so nishan go ahead what's your question So next session will be tomorrow, most probably tomorrow at six uh, thirty. But I have a different commitment. I will I will try my level best uh, to be to to have a session tomorrow. In if not tomorrow, yes, we will be able to have a session. Uh, we'll be have we'll be able to have a session next Saturday at six thirty p.m. But most probably tomorrow, yes, we will have a session. 
99 percent or say like 50 50 chances i wouldn't say 99 but yeah 50 50 chances that we'll be having session tomorrow okay cool so what is that we are going to cover what is it we are going to cover on the SharePoint online? I'll tell you like how to create a communication site, how to create a team site and how to do a sharing model and how we can uh, uh, have a post and how we can share it with everyone. So we'll be able to, we'll be able to do all those. And also we'll be talking about the SPMT SharePoint migration tool. We'll be able to do that. Okay. So. So we shall yes we'll be covering all all the we'll be covering all the advanced topics on each of uh, on, on on each of the uh, you know topics so yes i'll cover up to l3 level so that you'll be able to you'll be able to uh, attend an interview confidently yes I, i'll definitely do that so mudasir yes we will we will definitely talk about the m365 enablement and management yes we'll be we'll be doing it so Anku, why do you say that I'll give half knowledge only? No, I'll give full knowledge. So, so without using credit card, no, it is not possible. It is, it is restricted from Microsoft. It's not something that I have done it. It is all restricted from the Microsoft side. So it is, so Rakesh, it is enrollment based. Contact Amit and get enrolled yourself. So we don't have articles, Vani. So as in when we are doing these topics, as, in, as, I'm, as I just mentioned notes today, I'll be writing more and more notes and, the, and those notes will be shared alongside the recordings. Yes, we are covering Intune also. So Mudasir, power automation, no, power shell is covered, but not power automation. Okay. Duration, it will go around 40 hours, 40 hours of course, this will be. You don't have a dedicated class for Intune, but the Intune is part of, Intune is part of this course itself. Yes, yes SharePoint migration is, is, is added as a part of this course. So, there are a lot of opportunities available because like many organizations are now going with the cloud. So yes, there are opportunities available, but what is very important is like, you should be right on top of the topics saying like, if you know a bit of PowerShell along with this management, because this, because this portal management, anyone can do it. What is very important for you is that you should be able to good or you should be able to do well on to the PowerShell also, which I will teach you if you're able to do that. Yes, it will be very easy for cracking an interview. And also like I will be talking more and more on the, on the interview perspective as well, because like if I take an interview, what are the questions that I will ask? So I will, I will, I will put it in that perspective also. And I will also, I'll also answer saying like, what is that you should answer to impress the interviewer? I will be, I'll be telling that as well as in when I teach each of the topic. training is also there but not as a part of this session whatever like amount of powershell uh, knowledge required very little amount of it i'll be i'll be i'll be providing you in this training so interview calls are good oh, interview calls are definitely good there are a lot of office 365 there are a lot of Office 365 requirements are there definitely. So yeah, you'll be able to get more interview calls for sure. So the class schedule is going to be only on weekends, only on weekends, uh, say from 6.30 from 6 30 p.m. to around 8 30 p.m. or 9 p.m. is the schedule that we have it. So certification, there are different certifications available, MS 100, MS 101, 203, 400, 500, 700. There are a lot of certifications available. Okay. So Shravan, that's what I mentioned, like different job opportunities that are available or like you will be able to get a 
Office 365 administrator role, you'll be able to get it. And like even some companies ask for, uh, even some companies ask for migration engineer. So you'll be able to get a Office 365, uh, Office 365 uh, administrator, very specifically exchange administrator also, you'll be able to get it. Okay, so Jay, I don't help on the certification, but I, I teach about the certification. What are the questions that you can expect it? Yes, I do teach about it, but yes, certification check with Amit. I think he'll be able to get some vouchers on it. So recordings, yes, everyone will be able to get the recording. Amit will, Amit will help you to get the recording. Don't worry about it. So certification process, we can talk about it. So first, if so once you learn it, we'll be able to talk about the certification. Okay, cool. So what is your question, Sanjeev? So team certification, it's 700 MS 700. So you'll be able to, you'll be able to do a MS team certification also. Fundamental certification is MS 900. Go with MS 900. That is the, that is the Office 365 fundamental certification. So tomorrow, as I told you that it's a 50, 50 chance that tomorrow the class is going to be available. So I will, I will keep Amit, uh, I'll, I'll just let Amit know about, about tomorrow's schedule. So if, if there is, if there is a class, yes, you will get a notification well in advance. If not also, or whatever it is, you will get a notification from Amit. Okay. So, so someone has logged in as, as, as Redmi Note 9 Pro first complete the course, then we can talk about the certification. All right. So fine. I think like so many questions are answered. We are good with it. So more and more questions, you know, once you enroll it, yes, we, we can be part of a WhatsApp group and we can definitely talk a lot about it. All right, team. So please get in touch with Amit and uh, please enroll yourself and I'll talk to you tomorrow. If not, I'll talk to you on Saturday, 6.30 PM IST. Take care. Bye-bye.